Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks for all the comments. Appreciate all my subscribers. I do want to say thank you for all that. Uh, sorry about the bad uh, uh, camera angle here. I'm sitting out on the back patio listening to the birds. Looks like it's going to turn out to be a fairly nice day here in the Texas Hill Country. Uh, hopefully we'll get some rain, but <clears throat> we'll see. Nothing much yet. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard on the news here this past week they had that uh, <clears throat> tap up in Austin at the South by Southwest where that 21-year-old uh, man uh, drove his car into a crowd of people while trying to evade police. Um, I guess yesterday they identified him, 21-year-old Rashad Owens from Colleen. Uh, what they're not really reporting on is that uh, this man has a uh, fairly lengthy rap sheet uh, for a 21-year-old man. And uh, like he said, the reason he was running was because he didn't want to go to prison because he knew there were outstanding warrants, uh, which in fact I guess there are. Um, also another fact that they're not reporting on that I read today, um, doing a little digging on him, uh, he's apparently the father of six children. I believe the most recent was just born in early February, the sixth child. Uh, so he's a real fine, upstanding uh, member of the community, I guess. Uh, supposedly he's an aspiring rap musician <clears throat> with a criminal record, so I guess he's checking all the boxes for that career. Um, it's a bad deal. You know, it, 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 it's not the first time that something like this has happened. I know I remember a story a few years back. An uh, elderly gentleman did the same thing out in California, I believe, and it's happened, I think, up in, up in the Midwest somewhere more recently. Um, point is, and I guess what I really want to kind of address here is uh, why put yourself into that situation? Why, why be one of the innocent bystanders that ends up being a victim? You know, sure these guys weren't doing anything wrong. I think the lady that was killed was riding a moped and the uh, uh, the Dutch gentleman was um, riding a bicycle. He, he's over here. I think he was a musician, guitar player from uh, Holland or Norway or somewhere. I can't remember exactly. He was he was from somewhere over in um, over in Europe. But um, you know, when you're going to these type of things, you know, South by Southwest has really grown over the years. You know, it started back in the mid to late '80s as a kind of a regional deal, and it's kind of expanded into um, uh, more than music and art, it's you know film and and it draws people from all over, I guess all over the world, obviously. But my my point is, I I would not take myself or my family anywhere near anything like that because you know the type of people it's going to be drawn, and um, I think uh, the fact that um, the gentleman that did this, I, I use the term gentleman like you know loosely, um, is a criminal element. And, you know, those people are just up there to party and, and get drunk and, you know, go see Lady Gaga have somebody puke on her on stage. Uh, you know, I, I, have no, um, I have no desire to get anywhere near anything like that. Um, I don't put myself at risk at such venues. Uh, hopefully you don't either. Um, now, we will go out and do things. Don't, don't get me wrong, we're not a bunch of shut-ins and, and don't get involved, but we do it with like-minded people such as ourselves and we're not into uh, that type of lifestyle and going out and doing the music scene and getting drunk in public and such like that so you wouldn't find us anywhere near hell you won't find us anywhere near Austin on a normal day um, Austin's weird but um, you know so we don't go over that way ever it's been many years since we've been to Austin that was just to visit some relatives that we have there but um, point is don't put yourself in those situations where you're going to be putting yourself at risk uh, it's real simple and um, do that and you'll live to tell another day uh, unfortunately two of these people won't uh, I guess there's still some that are in the hospital severely injured from getting run over by this man in his oh by the way it was a stolen car also, um, and I guess uh, from what I was reading, this guy drove through crowds for three city blocks 
running over people. Um, don't go near it. Don't, don't, don't put yourself in those situations. Don't put yourself at risk. I guess that's the message. Don't put yourself at risk. Just my thoughts, Hill Country Husker. Thanks.